Say this in the first two to three seconds of your video and it will skyrocket your views. Having trouble getting views? Say this at the beginning of every video and it will skyrocket your views. Do you want to know the secret of how you can get more views on a video? Sorry guys for the long intro. Today we're going to talk about how to make the best video hooks. So these were just a couple hook examples that I used that I found on the spot. But we're going to go deep into video hooks and look at what kind of video hooks you should be using for your videos. Because if you don't use the right hooks for your videos, your views will tank and people will not watch the rest of your video. It's so simple as that. And also make sure to watch this video until the end because I'm going to give you a bonus that you can use to get more video hooks than you ever dreamt of. So for those who don't know, what is actually a video hook? A video hook is basically what you say in the first two to six seconds of every video. This applies especially to short form because short form you have to imagine people are just sitting in the bus, on the toilet, in school and just scrolling along mindlessly. And they're not looking for your specific video. They don't want to hear your information. So you have to kind of like capture their attention quickly with a very nice video hook. And the best video hooks are not just your titles. I mean, you can have written hooks, but you should find a way to even make it more interesting, to capture the attention even better. And it goes without saying that a video hook shouldn't be boring or mundane. So we're gonna look at how to make the best video hooks and a couple examples. So there are many types of video hooks, but I would suggest you stick to these eight main themes, you could say, for video hooks. So the first one is informing someone of a new idea. The second one is creating mystery and curiosity. The third one and very powerful is debunking a common belief. So if people believe something, then just, you know, tell them the opposite or reinforce their belief. What always works is just to do something unexpected. And of course, talking about benefits or desires or number six, pain or frustrations, challenges in their lives is always a good idea. Number seven is using credibility or authority. This is using like, you know, experts or celebrities or even statistics. And the last one is kind of small and in between, but big numbers. Use big numbers. We humans, we like big numbers, you know, big prices. I earn $100 million in a week. <laughs> That always gets attention. Let's look at a couple of examples. So first, informing someone of a new idea. You're creating an ad just got so much easier. I'm gonna use OpenAI to create a product and then an ad around it with copy and pictures and everything. Check this out. All right, so first we need a product. Boom, he's informing you of a new way to do things. In a short position, the man that I love sat me down last night and he told me that it's over. Short and sweet, giving you the best AI tools available. You see, AI is a big topic in new ideas at the moment. Places that you need to visit before they get too popular. Using a little bit of FOMO, you know, you don't want to be late because they're gonna be too popular and then they're gonna be overcrowded with tourists. And here is actually a good example that hooks can also be written. They don't have to necessarily be spoken. The text, the headline can also be a written hook. Here's another ultimate list of websites that feel illegal to know. And all of these do some really crazy things. Websites that feel illegal to know. You know, if you don't know them, well, you're missing out. So always a little bit of FOMO and mystery and curiosity. A young boy remembers dying in the September 11th World Trade Center attacks. If you're skeptical, be curious and look at the boy's facial expressions when he's telling the story. This doesn't just apply to informational TikToks. Using curiosity can also be a very powerful tool in stories and in story-based short-form video content. Next up, debunking a common belief. It's flexibility or mobility that I'm... That's like comparing apples and oranges. Let us explain. I assume most people like me think flexibility and mobility are kind of the same thing, but apparently they're not. Let's go for something unexpected, for something unusual. I'll wake up between like 3.30 and 7. I can't remember the last time I set an alarm. Just wake up when I wake up. You would wake up naturally at 3 o'clock in the morning? Oh yeah. Who wakes up naturally at 3 o'clock in the morning? I mean, not that I do that. Let's look at some benefits and desires. Migraine fixed in 5 seconds. Got it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so most of us have some kind of issues. Most of us have some kind of, you know, like wishes that we could fix actually something, you know, always making a video about that, taking it as a written hook or spoken hook, perfect. Next up, we humans really like to solve challenges. And this is why normally like challenge and quiz does so well on short form. Like people have the itch to solve things, mathematical problems or whatever. If we have a simple challenge, we need to solve it. But this can also apply to, you know, like 
solving problems, problems uh, that we have. For example, you watching this because you want to get more views on your videos and me actually proposing the hook of if you make tons of videos but you're not getting views, then you have to watch this. Speak a language that we don't speak. If they manage to do that, they win 20 euros. Um... So here, a perfect example of a challenge. We want to see if people will be able to speak a language that the people in this video actually don't speak. Who doesn't love a good puzzle? Okay, number seven is gonna be credibility, authority, using basically credible sources that's either gonna be people or that's gonna be statistics or that's gonna be experts. Like when we talk about, you know, the scientists or, you know, a big personality like Elon Musk, even like just, you know, like citing a paper, citing some numbers, 10 out of 10 people like spaghetti or I don't know. <laughs> How did Elon Musk get so rich? So here, a good example of curiosity mixed with celebrities. How did Elon Musk get so rich? You know, we all want to filter that puzzle because we know that person and we want to know more about them, how they get to where they are. And the last one is big numbers. This applies most of the time to money. We love prices. We love to, you know, fantasize about making and having a lot of money. So always we, when you come in with some big numbers, that will always do well with the audience. I make over $40,000 per month through course creation, and I'm going to give you a million dollar chat GPT course idea. So boom, a million dollar ideas and she makes 40 K a month. What could go wrong? So these were kind of like some examples of the meta hooks that we use. Of course, there are a ton of different hooks that you can use in your videos, but keep in mind that the best hooks will trigger controversy. They will trigger debate. They will trigger people typing things in the comment section. So whether it's a good one, whether it's a bad one, thank you for the tips or we hate you. You always want to encourage debate. You always want to encourage discussion. You want to trigger people we want to be controversial in some sense because this will just perform really well so these were some of the best video hooks from a strategic standpoint now you might be asking well actually you know i'm not any smarter now what kind of hooks should i actually use you know what, what give me some hooks and like I said in the beginning, I have a bonus for you. So I'm going to give you some hooks. I have made a list of the 100 best hooks that you can use for your videos. I mean, of course, there are a ton, but I think 100 are enough. So if you send me an email, you can find the email below in this video, then I will send you those hooks personally. Just send me an email with the subject line hooks and please give me your best hooks and I will answer you with a PDF that contains 100 of the best hooks. You don't need to opt in. You don't need to fill in some kind of forms. Just send me the email and I will send the hooks back to you.